Kitchen is cooked is something I've been hearing a lot, dude. Like, I feel like... I feel bad for the newer generation, but if we're going to talk about the teenager one, the humor that goes on is wild. And there's a, I see a pyrocynical video I want to look into. Oh my god. One thing I was looking Every at generation is cooked. I'm going to be real true. Like, I, the, most, the, the most millennial thing I ever see is the saddest thing in my life. Like, I've never, this is just like most of the time the saddest thing you could ever see. Absolutely. I don't know if you've seen... What is that haircut, man? Uh, these guys Ooh. on Twitter. These are like YouTubers, like my family YouTubers. Pyro. Lanky Bucks. So a lot of people in chat, Lanky I can tell right Bucks. now, have heard of these guys and they don't want me to play this video. They are terrified, okay? To the uninitiated... British, British XQC? Damn. Welcome to peak brain rust. Today we're going to be busting 100 myths in 24 hours. Bro, I thought about this the other day. Do y'all remember the time whenever cringe wasn't that word? And we didn't know about the feeling of cringe? Like, I kind of missed that a little bit. Because nowadays, whenever I see shit like this, I, I can't stop but cringing. And I wish I didn't. Crazy secrets about it's wild that that emotion just sparked in this year. We'll even show you like the, this generation here. What the? What is this? How do you watch this? This is so much like zoom, boom, boom, boom to keep attention. You can bust. Watch this video all you the can way bust? to the end. Guys, there's myth number one right away. I feel like I've just lost like five years of my life. The editing is kind of like getting a trans orbital lobotomy. Uh, mm. It's it's not a nice experience. But yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how they got Kenita Pet. It's like getting this. fucked I, in both I'll ears honest, while somebody's the, the blasting that made the Kenita microphone. Pet, he actually came to my meet and greet. I met him. He's a really, really nice guy. So having that guy is amazing work in Watch this video. Watch until the it, end. It just doesn't feel I right. I think not. I saw someone describe a Mr. Beast video as being not mm. the regular build up and payoff but just constant payoff. This is visual crack. iPad kids are so fucked. It's true though. I, I mean, do you feel bad for the younger generation. Like how is their attention span going to be? Like, how are they going to grow up as adults? Not talking to, not, not going out enough, having social issues. Generally, the world is getting fucked when it's economy. And also they have barely any form of attention span. I don't like, I don't know. Like, I feel bad for them, man. Like, how are they going to grow up? Adapt yeah, or die? Yeah, send them. People, it's gonna be they send all the younger generation, whenever they hit seven, 18, send them to the jungle to survive for like a week and see, and then just bring in the ones that survive. Horrendous now. Long. Max all, but for children. This whole oh, attention span on. is bullshit. Don't say that. I Do mean, you think the idea of that the, their attention span is fucked? Do you think that is bullshit? Or do you think that the fact that they are like ruining their attention span is bullshit? You think that? Okay, I kind of disagree on that. Why do you guys think that? Why do you think that the attention span idea is bullshit? Because like, if you think about it, they are... They can't unplug. They can't unplug. Yeah, they can't unplug. I mean, they, they can really not unplug. No, they can't. The problem is that they're growing up as a five-year-old, six-year-old with an iPad, two iPads, and just like a bunch of things going on. I don't know, like they, they need things going on all the time in their face, some type, form of activity. You got to limit screen time and attention span will be screwed, or the attention span will be screwed. I agree on that. I agree on that, 100%. I think that the problem is that they're getting a lot of like, they're just getting too much screen time and everything is like ding, ding, bong, bong. It's, there is never any there's never ever any like times where they just have to think for themselves there's always some kind of light going crazy they're terminally online yeah with this mother dane they they can they're never leaving the ipad they're never leaving the phone i give her an hour a day an hour a day is fine attention span is always around the same people in the past had the tv for background noise now it's a way surfer not much changed I disagree. I agree. get what you're getting into, but I disagree. I think that whenever you were a kid and you were being annoying, I don't think your parents just put you in front of a TV and said, stay there for 10 hours. I don't think that happens. I think the TV was an option, but it wasn't something people, I think that it was something people rotated between. Now I feel like 
Now I feel like kids sit down with their parents outside. They're outside. They're socialized. They're getting food. They're outside in the park. They're meeting family members. And what do their parents do? They give them an iPad so they can start focusing on that. Or they give them phone to just focus on something else. Because the kid is not like they are. Be, they, the parent doesn't want to put time and attention into calming the kid or making them involved. They just place down a device in front of them. And since the TV was a standstill product that set, stood there in their home compared to the portable iPad, I think it drastically changes the way parents are tr like managing their kids. Parents suck, kids suck, basically. I mean, it is exhausting though. I'm, I'm going to tell it right now. Like being a parent does suck. Like it is hard. It's a lot of work. Speedity, I don't get that stuff. The skibbity shit stuff. I don't understand that at all. They do, They said go outside, at least in the US. I don't, do, do kids go outside a lot? I feel like they don't. I don't know. Like I, maybe some do, but I feel like it doesn't really happen that much. But there are bad parents. That's nothing to do with the whole generation. I don't think their kids are worse. I don't think the problem is that I think that because parents being a parent is hard and they have more tool now tools now to calm down a kid. I think parents like let's be real like humans can be lazy, man. I think that just parents go for the easy way out and not every parent do like you have Rob over there saying one hour every day. But there's a lot of pounds that ease into it and just can't manage it and just give them as much attention, like put their iPad as much as they can in front of their kid. Kind of true. Actually, kind of true. Yeah, if you know Max Saw, he does like game reviews like kids? I do. No, no, Very no, no. talented YouTuber. This uh, but if you watch his videos, you can see just how it's like visual crack. It is visual many crack. Certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers There's always something going on. Look at that. Look at the vibrant like coloring guy. and except switches and bum 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 bum. I mean, that's not too bad. I, I remember when he did Ultra Kill. Let's go. Yeah, that video is the best one. The 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 hell dive video is the best edited video he has ever done. It's most popular. Oh yeah, these are this the is ones. not set. This is Max on this. Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games besides Genshin Impact. Created as a that was seven seconds. Max or videos are hard to watch for me. I promise you, his hell diver two video is the best one and best the digestible one. Every other one, I think they're like a lot of them are like cra too crazy. And the stupidest plot of any game since up the last Look how much one, is know, happening. The one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave. Now caught. That is just... That was 30 seconds. It, it, it's like the MLG videos that I used to do like in 2016. But I, I love I love Maxwell's yeah, videos. Yeah, I remember those. Uh, those he funny. did a very good Cruelty Squad video those as well. Uh, I Probably actually cringe now. got him to voice uh, in Cruelty Squad. Cruelty Squad is a profound and enigmatic stuff. This video here, I really struggle looking at. We did a reaction to this video and I got a comment. Somebody saying you're talking too much to chat. You're not reacting to the video. And I'm going to be honest. This video was too hard to digest. It was just too much going on. It was too much flashiness. It was crazy. Even I in my fucking 20s cannot look at this video and think this was appealing. This video was way too much. Very nice and respectable looking. It was funny though. For the source material, I will be but it's just too crazy. As beautiful as Cruelty Squad. Dude, my Cruelty Squad video is actual ass in comparison. Like, like there is just no editing. Like, look how slow my video is Lamau. compared to his. Look how slow my Bad video, video is. It's over for L. me. It's over for me. Look how fast this video is. Dopamine bros, we've lost. It is actually over. I, I can't, I literally can't compete. And the fact that Maxor, I think when I talked to him, he told me he does all of it himself. That's, that's crazy like he is such a talented really guy good. you, you so need a good. special level of autism to like be able to True. pull off edits like that and just not want to blow your brains <laughs> out so, yeah, it's a superpower my heart goes out to all those freelance animators and editors who get paid a hundred dollars yeah i i cannot imagine they'd be paid well i hope they are these people reached out to me two years ago to animate for them and i blocked them and <laughs> <laughs> this is a big fucking Kinesha response. Pest. Oh, God, oh this is another one. God. I think we're going to be sick. Right, okay. Let's lock in. Let's lock uh, in. Lock in. Today we are ordering an amazing deal circus Happy Meal at 3 a.m. No way, Justin. Bad things happen when you order Happy Meals at 3 a.m. Don't worry so much, Adam. You just stay here and play some Roblox. I'm going to go get the Happy Meal. All right, I'll play Roblox. Yep, I'll have a one amazing digital circus. I feel like I'm going to have a brain seizure looking at this. Like... 
these are... Dude, this is too much, man. Like, this is... The, the, dude, this is way too much. Happy Meal, please. I ordered a Happy Meal at 3am, but it is no ordinary Happy Meal. It is actually a cursed, amazing Digital Circus Happy Meal. I, you know, I always think about this. When this guy turns 50 years old, do you think he will look back at these videos and smile? Or do you think he will feel like it feel massive pain? Because I feel like these videos are so regrettable. It is so overly the talk. Guys. <laughs> just cares about the money it's pretty much, yeah, it's, I guess. It's like if you got an AI generated human and you just had like the algorithm mention everything that comes up on. Yeah. Are we back? It's Let's uh, subject ourselves to more immeasurable pain. It is actually a cursed, amazing digital circus happy meal, guys. There's Pomni, there's Jax, there's Kane. This is going to be one of the... It's like I said, though, before my stream crashed. It it's like they have a checklist of every single name to his possible. Oh, God, there's another one. The real danger to our childhood, our children, is content like this. Today, we are heading back to school. Oh, God, I can't, bro. It's been two seconds. And facing the world's hardest, amazing digital circus and poppy playtime quizzes. But first, we'll study by facing the amazing digital... They sat in front of a camera talking, and then they also step in front of a green screen and just do exaggerated movements. And then they enlarge their heads. It's just... Like, they must make a killing, though, right? Like, like they're definitely making over, like, half a mil a month. But is it worth it? Like, the amount of... Yeah, I mean, there, half a mil is a lot of money half a mil is a lot of money man that's a lot of money i mean why wouldn't anybody do that i don't think these videos are bad for the generation like i don't know like it's kind of hard to say like if i look at it would i let my kid watch this probably not but i grew up watching <laughs> dude i i watched so many wild cartoons and horror movies when i was a kid like, I watched The Ring when I was like eight or seven, seven years old or something. I was watching these uh, Cartoon Network shows like Ed, Ed and Eddie, Johnny Bravo, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like, all of these shit was messed up. Cow and Chicken. It was all messed up. Like, I was consuming so much messed up content. So if I would like... Now, this stuff is cringe, right? It is going crazy on the attention span as well. But do I think, do I think what I was consuming as a kid is healthier for a child than this? No, I don't think so. I think what I was watching is way more fucked up. Absolutely ruining right here. If we get all of these questions right, we'll unlock a super amazing digital circus art video Wow. Let's go. Your bedtime is set for 11. Whoever recorded this, you need to go sleep. But yeah, it is, it is peak brain right. And they have so many time channels. They got Lanky Box, Lanky Box World, Lanky this Box way Channel, worse than you think? Lanky Box EXE. It's, it's just so, it's just so much. Oh God. Dude, they upload, what? Look at this schedule. Wow. This is, bro, they're actually they like, are they're, farming. they're clowning on Slop Live. It's over. They upload wow, like they are farming, dude. But yeah, look, two, Respect two the hours. Respect the hustle. Like, look okay, at them, man. I'm, I'm sure it's just a game. Video, right? Get ready for the most insane drawing challenges. I'm gonna draw my 36 I, I, I don't million even understand subscribers. What the, point of the video is I, my, my brain actually million. shut off as like a safety precaution. That that was so much information going in at once. That was it was like oh, Ace, the one of my favorite like movies. Yeah, I remember that. I remember guys. first time I watched Alien. I was like so young. And I remember, I still remember, I asked my dad, is, is Alien real? Like, is the movie real? Because, like, one of the alien movies end up with, like, a date or something. Like, this happened, this or that. Like, it's sort of jokingly saying it's a real thing. And I was, I thought I believed it. I was like, damn, aliens are real. No. This movie is true. It's a documentary. I see tails and knuckles. <laughs> oh, so it's, so it's basically the first 20 seconds that are just absolutely We only land in America. <laughs> also, do these guys know what, like, their ISO aliens is Aliens are actually in so, Brazil. Why is the picture so saturated? But yeah, that, that, that's... They're cool. saturated. They're very saturated. And you can see them on the thumbnails of Brett as well. The saturation is crazy. It's because they're bright as fuck and they've grabbed the people's attention. Because they are bright as fuck. That's why. Pretty much it. I assume all the videos kind of... Can kids. we survive Nightmare in Squid... A creepy Spongebob game where Squidward gets cursed. <laughs> not wow. That, not that sound effect, man. Not that sound effect, please. <laughs> not the most generic TikTok sound effect that's been used ironically in so many videos. Gets 
<laughs> oh my god. Right, let's go on their most popular. Oh wow. They had some bangers like four years ago. Taylor Swift with zero budget. Billy Eilish with zero budget. So these are basically guys that have been trying everything. I I, I wouldn't say it's like grifting or anything like that. Like you know, loads of people kind of evolve their content and obviously they found like a niche now, but yeah, that is, uh, the, the views aren't as good as I thought they'd be. I actually thought they'd be getting like a million views. I mean, they have 36 million subscribers. That That is insane. That's like, like whether you like these guys or not, like that is a lot of subscribers to have. You need to appreciate that, I think. Oh, this is Zoonomaly. Right. right. I actually, I got a video on Zoonomaly coming TikTok out, like a review video fire, please. in this a couple of days. Is a new Zoonomaly is a crazy video game where you have to escape a creepy zoo at 3 a.m. while getting chased by a giant catnap smiling critters monster god he, he really just had to put in every single buzzword to get the kids watching didn't he it's, catnap. Ah. it's not catnap look at the dislikes it's actually over for bro damn and we even fight a giant oh good catnap man enjoy yourself to escape the zoo he had to say catnap like so many times so the algorithm would push the video one thing i've noticed about these guys right like all youtubers shill merch right but he's holding that in his hands like actively like a plushie and he has a plushie there they they saw how logan paul advertised prime and they were like that's what we gotta do we just need to, to put show it, it. yeah yeah now. yeah Bang. let me find it's a, a good idea in among us i'm not watching this anymore all right let's have a look at their shorts now now I, i'm assuming the shorts is where they get the actual subscribers from oh yeah yeah 200 million views probably Holy. made about five Killers. Bro, what is this? What? Bro, what am I watching? This is so painful. Th this what? doesn't even have anything to do with their main content. They've obviously just hired like a B team to kind of put it all together, right? Sh should we just engage in Max Brain, right? I'm just going to keep scrolling. Lanky. Lanky bot. I can't do it. I can't. Oh I can't my do it, god. Man. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. The brain rot is too much. It's rotten slop. Why would you want to buy a plushie of them? Like, Wait, is that like Mario Kart 64 item copyrighted? Is it? Them? He made Nintendo. Himself shad face. Right, Go okay. get him. I, I, I'm Go get him, champ. Now. Right. Lanky Box World. So this is Roblox, I think. This is more Roblox based content. And they're still uploading daily on here as well. Like, they have a whole bro. They has a are whole factory. farming, dude. They're making that. millions. Circus versus I mean, like how can i say anything bad about this like i mean like they are making a lot of money just goofing around like this and they're not really hurt they're not really hurting anyone this is like dumb cringe content that is going all crazy with it when it comes to attention span but like in the end of the day i respect the hustle like look band. at that best lanky box reaction that is as long as everyone's happy yeah i just i think that as long as they're not doing Life crazy shit you know let's watch it's good. the amazing digital circus now let's play garden of bam bam no one ever said unironically let's play garden of bam bam no one ever said that we're all over the place though yeah it is frame by frame let's watch it wait is episode two actually out is episode two actually out yeah you fucking liars nice try i fell for it though i fell for it like so this is basically just them reacting to stuff. Click uh, And they probably get more views here. God, do they have shorts here as well? Oh, God. How are they doing this? Man, they are How are they farming. getting so many shorts? <laughs> it's just brain rot. Why, why is he absorbed into the soil? This is like the <laughs> ironic Facebook I didn't game, even see it. Jesus. This is that. This is those ironic game ads that you see. Oh my God, bro. I can't. This is painful. Right. This is Lanky Box channel. This is the official animation. So they have an animation channel as well. Although they haven't actually touched this for uh, a couple of years. It's now. not worth it. Uh, well, like nine months. They haven't touched this for a while. Yeah. It's 100% for kids. Yeah, this is purely for kids. They are just farming kids. There's no actual teenager or grown adult that watches this. Like, if they do, I, I'm sorry. What? This is not brain rot. This is brain nourishment. Oh, no. They probably get paid to do that. Is he a VTuber? I'll be honest. Like, if I, if I had, like, a family member, like a little kid that was watching this on the iPad, I would take the iPad off him and just smash it against the wall. I can feel <laughs> my brain cells like all they're, they're all committing seppuku in my brain slowly. They're all pulling out little samurai swords and stabbing themselves. This isn't even real though, is it? It's like an animation that they've made. They, they, okay, that, okay, okay. Base channel. They actually give a countdown for the jump scare. Okay, wow. they know their audience. All my past criticisms are now removed. What? 
Okay. And then we got Lanky Box EXE. We hacked Lanky Box. This channel is run by Justin and Adam. So what is this? Is this just like their personal channel? I do, I hate this. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually scary for a five-year-old, is it? I guess so, yeah. This is just reacting to videos while they do, while they show their merch. They got shorts here as well. Yeah, I don't know about like set showing horror games to kids. I don't know about that one. Pyro moment. There's actually a YouTuber that's done a video. I need to, I want to watch this. They're basically the final boss of content farms where the duo, Justin and Adam, basically just play games, unbox toys, or react to things. The thing is like, like kids channels, they always need to kind of have that aspect of like, you know, kid friendly stuff. But this is like, this is actual algorithm. Of the brain oh, I remember Goosebumps. Because of goops, Goosebumps, I hate like toy, like, uh, like dolls because of that little that, that little uh, toy that went around and started stabbing people and then like the kids turned into toy as well at the end of the episode you know what i mean slappy did that dude it was wild like they're man. doing it so much to the Fucking, point where yeah. like, kids dopamine receptors are gonna be i hated that one shot. that one fucked me up stimulating editing style and their youtube shorts are something else entirely as they're often just animations absolutely disgracing amazing digital circus characters or whatever else is unfortunate enough to cross their path and they make these abominations with the simple goal of just selling their merch smart they put their own merch in the animation. That's that's actually really smart. Okay, I I okay. Let them cook with this. Let them cook with I this. I think they are doing well. I think they are just fuck. I think they're just they're just playing the game. They're just doing really well. I think they're just making a lot of money and they're just grinding. They're just grinding hard. Gasoline could probably lead to better brain development than watching Lanky Box. But looking at this video's intro alone, the- Oh my God, he was like a soy face. His hopes and dreams gone. To be honest, you're all overreacting. Time is a flat circle and nothing is novel. Our generation had annoying orange and Fred. The kids are all right. Let them be cringe and consume cringe. It's an important part of development. I, I do agree with DJ Shrimp there. Terrible name, but but he does make a good point. I, I do see this thrown around a lot that like, oh, this is so cringe. It is cringe. But then like, what were we watching? Like like me growing up, I was watching like, uh, I was literally watching Gmod Idiot Box when I was when I was growing up. Wow. Like, like, and, and that was like the, like it, it's some of the most like poorly aged videos. I mean, some of them are all right. 14 years ago, 15 years ago. That's wild. This is what I watched. Oh, I remember kid, this right? video. This is what I found laugh out loud. Hilarious. I remember this video. Yeah! Oh, need some help here. <laughs> I can like, when I, I was, remember when I, Idiot Box, dude. <laughs> I was a kid, I thought, okay, th this one's actually pretty funny, though. This one's actually pretty funny. You can't break those cuffs. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean... <laughs> see, see, that's the thing. Like, nothing changes, man. We all had something stupid that we looked at when we were kids. Everybody did. It's just how it is. And this thing here is the new thing for the kids to watch. And we don't understand it. And I bet they wouldn't understand this shit. Magnificent microwave cousin. <laughs> okay. That one was, uh, that one actually holds up 15 <laughs> years ago, by the way. That that one actually holds up. I really like that one. This new wave of content is, uh, it's it's pretty Charlie sloppy. Unicorn, Peak yeah. Comedy. Charlie the Unicorn. Oh my God. What happened? I think he was going to make like a movie or something. I don't know what happened to that. It actually is. Llamas with hat. Though. True. Channel wasn't enough. Those were good. Those are dope. Five channels to flood the YouTube recommendations. Five channels is wild. I'll be honest though, their views aren't that great. Their, their views like here oh were really good, Andy but recently Mountain. like they're not doing that good. Basically, they're Two years ago, kids in 40 minutes ending. Jail. Oh really, they did? Break out. I need to they watch that. Escape. They've got a lot of bad channels, but the weirdest one has to be Lanky Box EXE, the evil Lanky Box channel. Now the first upload on this channel was basically a merch advertisement. They wanted people to These buy- These people using like a PNG model to talk about random shit. 
are they technically vtubers because they're like using this model to show themselves and then talk yap 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 i feel like they're technically the vtubers so they oh my god it looks like a it looks like a go animate video so they released the song lanky box plushy exe song now tragically they they did a music video about their own merch that, oh that is up there with jake paul doing a song about christmas wow should, should we look at their merch oh god they got merch boys 27 quid i mean that's not that's not too bad that could be worse oh five percent off i might join monkey box Ooh. robot glow in the dark dude okay that's okay. some expensive I, I plushies the, the, 25 the plushies euros for are, a plushie aren't that bad the plushies are actually that not that that's... bad you can literally buy a rock for 24 pound i would make a joke about buying a rock for, for 24 pounds but then uh i remember for everything Jesus. everywhere all at once you could literally buy a pet rock you could buy a pet rock for 35 dollars 35 a piece of rock and I think it actually sold out. It actually sold out because that many, that many redditors like bought it. I, I can't even make a joke about that. Dumb. I feel like if you buy a pet, right? You do. You, you got it. You, you. I don't know. Like you could buy anything, dumb. Then at this point, Jesus. I want a pet, right? No, rattles. No. <laughs> Think straight, brother. Think straight. Yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like I, I want to. I wonder how this generation is going to grow up. It's going to be interesting to see how they develop and end. Yeah, yeah, yeah.